I picked up this welcome sign kit at Hobby Lobby for $22 and it had all these magnetic pieces. Each piece I started by painting with white and then I went in and painted as simple as I could so that you guys could follow along. This is Citron, which is just a lemony yellow that I outlined all the um, lines that you can see with the yellow and left this pretty basic. Then we have our snowman. I did his top hat in black, the top and the rim, and then the center part I did in Republic Red. All these colors can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. We do have two ounce containers in, six, in a six pack for sale. I did the mitts in the Republic Red, and then I did the Republic Red and white in the cheeks and black with the smile, the sticks to the arm, the button, and his eyes. I'm using Mandarina for his carrot nose, and then Higgins Lake for his scarf. Anything that I filled in, I tried to outline in the chocolate. And I did not wait for my paint to dry. And then I highlighted with some white. Again, I outlined with the chocolate, the top and the body. And then I added some white on the top hat and on the rim just for the snow. Put it on the mittens and some on the scarf. Then we went into our pumpkin, which is for the fall season. And again, I outlined everything in chocolate. I did the mandarina orange on the two leaves and then the one I went with the citron. The main portion of the pumpkin I did in Higgins Lake. And then I went back and highlighted with some white. Now we have a pair of flip flops for the summertime. I went in with Higgins Lake and remember all the bases are in white. I don't wait for my white to dry as I go in and start to paint. And then I did the mandarina on the flip flop sandal upper portion, the straps. This is Republic red and white, the heart. And then I did the smaller heart with a little bit more white to make it a little lighter. And I did black stitching all the way around the heart the smaller heart and then highlighted with the white an American flag for our uh, patriotic holidays again I outlined in the chocolate I did every other stripe in the red I really love Republic red it's a great color and it loves me and just outlining with the chocolate just kind of um, separated and separated all the parts this is Bowie in the blue, and then I use a very tiny art brush to fill in the stars. These three bunnies for Easter, I did the Republic red and white in the center and got this pink tone. And then I want to add some texture to the cottontail. I went in with the white for the cottontail. And the bunny to the left I did in the dry time and then highlight it in the white. We did our shamrock with the dry thyme and the white. I did some highlighting and then highlighted with the white using an art brush. We have a cupcake and this is to represent someone's birthday. I did the Republic red and white on top, dry thyme, and then the citron for the sprinkles and highlighted with white. Then I'm going to cover everything with one hour enamel clear. And then this is the board. I did cover the wording with some um, wood filler and I'm decoupaging with our gingham paper by Roy Cycled, our Buffalo check. I'm using the saran wrap and the brayer to get the wrinkles out allowing this to dry after a full one coat of one hour enamel clear, trimming off the excess paper and allowing it to dry. 
Once dry, I sanded off the extra edges and I'm using our welcome sign that you can get at, it's our welcome stencil at chalkitupfancy.com. This time I used an art, uh, a stencil brush. I wanted to give that a try. I think I prefer the dabber and then I filled in my letters. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.